Hi, it's Fred Bernardo from FredsMusicAndBarbecue.com. Here in beautiful downtown Shillington, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to cook for our customers and we're going to cook on a large big green egg. So, the beginning of this video, the first segment will be how to light the egg. Now let me tell you, this egg has been cooked on almost every day this week. We didn't cook yesterday because the weather was nasty, but I haven't touched a thing. We shut it down last night and we're going to start from scratch with an egg that already has charcoal in it from the last cook. So we're going to swing the camera around and we're going to show you what it looks like inside the egg. Now we've stored in here, this is our daisy wheel top, we stored it in the egg at night. These are our three ceramic feet. Just, okay. Here's our grill extender, which we used last week. We'll put on the hook over there. Okay, we won't do that. We'll put it over here. Okay. Now we have our cast iron grate in there because that's where we were storing that. I'm going to put on a glove. This is cold, but I'm going to put on a glove anyway. You'll notice that our cast iron grate has a break in the edge here. We dropped it and broke it. And now we have our regular porcelain cooking grate that comes with the egg. And here it is. And now Mike will take a shot inside the egg and you can see there's the charcoal that's left from the last time. What we're going to do is we're going to swish that around here with our ash tool. There's not much swishing to do. It doesn't look like too much of this charcoal was burned. We're going to just reuse this charcoal. It is the middle of winter and it's been raining and snowing. So it's probably not going to light too easy. But I think while I'm at it, I'm going to clean some ashes out and I'll show you that. Step back, Mike. Get down here. We're going to clean some ashes out of the egg. Hey, can you zoom in here, Mike? Now, you don't want to do this with a, when it's hot and with a plastic ash pan or you'll be melting your ash pan. But we're just going to get some of these cleaned out just to make a little better air flow. We're going to leave the egg open because that's how we're going to start it. Okay, we've ditched our ashes. Now, if we come back around inside the egg, we're going to make a divot like a little hole inside the charcoal. And we're going to use the Big Green Egg Fire Starters. That's a model FS24 for those of you that are interested. And I know a website, fredsmusicandbarbecue.com, where you can order these things. I believe it's about $5.95. $5.95 for a box of 24. You will get 24 good uses out of it. I'm going to show you exactly how I like this egg. Okay? So here's our fire starter. We have the top open. We have the bottom of the egg open. We're going to light this thing right here. I'm going to hold it for a couple of seconds. Clean out a little bit better hole there, and I'm going to drop it in once it gets going. Now, Mike, you're leaving the video on there. I'm going to let it get itself going a little bit, get a little air. Oops. Try not to burn yourself, especially if you're a guitar player, like we are. And uh, I do like a little Boy Scout thing here. That's what I call it anyway. Got to stack this stuff up. A couple more pieces on there. We're using uh, Humphrey charcoal, which we really like. It's natural lump charcoal, of course. It comes from western Pennsylvania, and it's mostly oak. And I really like the flavor. But anyway, you see what this is like. We're going to close the dome. And now what will be happening is white smoke will be coming from here. Is it showing, Mike? White smoke will be coming. When that smoke turns to clear or black, we're ready to cook. Which should be about 10 minutes. Let's check the bottom vent. The bottom vent is completely open. We'll leave it like that until this thing gets rocking. Let's check the temperature. Okay? It's at its lowest, lowest thing. Within a few minutes, it'll start climbing. So we'll pause the tape right here. Hi, it's Fred Bernardo at Fred's Music and Barbecue.com in Shillington, Pennsylvania. That's beautiful downtown Shillington, Pennsylvania. We're going to cook some burgers today, and we're showing you how to light the big green egg. We have the large big green egg here, our demo egg, which you see. We lit it maybe 60 seconds ago. We paused the tape for a few seconds. You can see we still have white smoke. Those are VOCs, volatile organic compounds coming out, cooking off the charcoal, and we don't want to cook on that. We're going to wait a few more minutes, but you can see if you come around, Mike, with the camera, I don't think it's been a minute yet, 
and we're already rising. We're at 150 and rising. You can see the needle is starting to move. Now it'll go a little fast in the beginning because sometimes there'll be flames inside actually licking at the temperature uh, sensor in there, so it'll go abnormally fast. But this is how the temperature of the egg goes. We might be at two minutes now. And at that point, you see we're already approaching 200 degrees. Now we're going to be grilling. Okay, Mike, you get. Uh, leave it there. Yeah. We're going to be grilling burgers. And we're going to probably run this thing between 350 and 400 and just let it sit here all day. When a customer wants a burger, we're going to just throw a burger on for them and it'll cook in a few minutes and be just absolutely fabulous. So, the temperature outside here today is 37 degrees. It's uh, humid, uh, misty in the air, but and that's old charcoal that was used yesterday, but as you can see, it lit very easily. Let's take a look inside, see what it looks like. As you can see, it's starting up pretty good. Another couple of minutes, this thing will be ready to cook on. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're at 225, and we're maybe two minutes into this, so we're going to pause the tape for a few minutes. Maybe at the three-minute mark, the temperature over here says 250. I want to show you what else we're going to do. We're going to add a little flavor to these burgers today in the form of Jack Daniels flavor pellets from Barbecuers Delight. That's one of the product lines we carry in the store and on our website. We have their cast iron little metal pot. We're going to fill it up. We're going to close the lid. And when the fire is ready to cook on, I'm going to put this in there a few minutes ahead of time, right into the coals with the lid on and enough smoke will seep out of the lid to make a really nice flavor on our burgers just for a little more fun. Now we prepared the burgers out earlier and you may have watched that video and we just have meat, salt, pepper and we put a little butt rub on there just for the fun of it. Butt rub, that's Bad Byron's butt rub. Okay, as you can see over here on the top of the egg, we still have gray smoke coming off. We're at four or five minutes now. And we're going to take a break on the tape again, pause it just uh, to let this thing heat up a little. Okay, we're back. Mike, if you don't mind moving back. As you can see, the temperature is up to 650 degrees. Why? Because I took a break and went to the bathroom and uh, I left the top off and the bottom open. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want this thing maybe at 400. So I'm going to close it here and put the screen, which cuts the airflow by maybe 30%, I'd say at least. And I'm going to put the daisy wheel on, cap on. Uh oh, it looks like it's frozen in place. Yeah, it's frozen in place. Okay, I don't know if I'd do that if I recommend doing that, because you might break your daisy wheel top, but I did it anyway. And now the temperature will start slowly coming back down. We don't want to just open this thing now because we might get some kind of a flashback or something, but as you can see, the temperature is at 650 degrees. Okay, hi, we're back. The egg is coming down in temperature. I'm going to close the daisy wheel a little more and close the bottom a little more because we want to get it down to around 450, 500 degrees. Now, as we said earlier, before I put the burgers on, I'm going to put the barbecuers to light Jack Daniels flavored pellets in the fire to give it some good Jack Daniels flavored smoke to add to our beef burgers. Okay, we're coming down in temperature. We're down now under 600. We've got our vent about halfway closed with the screen all the way closed. A uh, couple other quick things. We're going to clean off our grill. We are going to use our cast iron grate, which we have here. We're going to put the cast iron grate on. That's an optional big green egg accessory, that's really a good thing to use with your large egg. You can use it for shrimp and searing steaks and searing burgers. Now I don't really, I'm not a big subscriber to the searing theory. Uh, I, I don't really like them crunchy on the outside, but some people do. So we're not going to worry about the sear too much. We're just going to cook them and make sure we don't overcook anything. But when you have this particular hamburger, you, you can cook it almost well done and it's still incredibly juicy. Oops, we ran out of time on this video. So check out part two of Cooking Burgers on the Big Green Egg, brought to you by Fred's Music and Barbecue Supply. Bye-bye.